time for the vows. <clears throat> when, when I first laid eyes on you at my fraternity's mixer at the University of Michigan freshman year. Go blue! Hail to the victor's valiant. <laughs> Go blue. <laughs> Go blue. I knew that you were the woman that I was going to marry. And as I got to know you, I could just tell that your beauty and your grace, they're matched by your ambition and your perseverance, which are two qualities I got to see on full display in the cave. The moment that I knew that I was in love with you was when I agreed to binge watch all of Gilmore Girls. Oh my God, stop, shut up. Like, don't pretend like you didn't love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm such a Rory. He's literally such a Rory, you guys. Like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> and though we've hit a bit of a rough path here and there, you know, I think the 48 hours that we spent in the cave. Cave? It proved that we were meant to be together. Because now, my love for you it burns brighter than the fire that we made. The one that we made with the sticks and bones that we found in that booby trap that likely killed a family of at least four. That's the one. You're going to make me cry. Jesus Christ. I also remember that frat party where we met at Michigan. Go. Go blue. Go blue! Woo! <laughs> I'm surprised, honestly, that you remember because I don't know if you guys know this, but he was definitely known around campus as the Beer Pong King. <laughs> <laughs> Go blue. <laughs> Are you totally <laughs> Um, So I guess that's like why it's kind of ironic that I would then become your cave queen. You're my rock, baby. You're solid and reliable like the rock I used to kill the chief's only daughter in the cave. You stood by me while I bathed in her blood and became the queen of the shadow people. You were such a secure guy back then, like, you didn't even care that I had this newfound absolute power that could potentially completely emasculate you. It was an honor to serve you, my queen. And when we made love for the first time at the altar of truth, yeah. I felt like I was being touched for the very first time. Like, now I totally get what Madonna was talking about in Like a Virgin. <laughs> She's like, like, like a virgin. virgin. <laughs> hey! Oh my god, it's just like one of my stupid jokes. I'm so lame. Anyway. <sighs> you and me, baby. When we spent those 48 hours in the cave, I feel like we became such good communicators. Like, it's like we speak the same language. Bagu, magnatika, faku. Oh my god, like, shut up. I was literally going to say that. Like, literally just now, you took the words right out of my crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, like shut up, shut up, my dad is here. Anyway, I don't know what we would have done in the cave if you hadn't have been there to solve that troll's riddles and allow us passage over the bridge of destiny into the realm of peace. And though it's going to be difficult later today when we sacrifice one of our wedding guests to the cave gods. Not again. I know that you'll always be holding my hand whenever life gets tough. Like when we kill your cousin, Jeff. Aw, but I was really looking forward to leaving the cha-cha slide. 